Okay, so 5B, you're asked to find the curvature. So uh, normally you would use the R magnitude R prime cross R, R double prime formula divided by magnitude R prime cubed. Um, but there is another formula, right, for finding curvature. K of T is equal to uh, magnitude T prime of T divided by magnitude R prime of T. So that if you know uh, the if you know T prime of T basically, uh, then finding its magnitude is no big deal. And, and if you know T prime of T, you're gonna know R, R prime of T. And the thing is, in the previous problem, we found T prime of T. It was that long, ugly video, right? So I have it here somewhere. Let me, give me just a second, I'll find it. So this is my work from 4B. And if you go through that video, relatively early on, you're gonna see that in that video that T prime of T is equal to the square root of two times e to the t divided by, uh, I'm sorry, this is the actual magnitude, I believe. Yeah. You're gonna see that the magnitude of t prime of t is root two e to the t divided by e to the two t plus one. And so where did I get this? This is from 4b. And then also in uh, 4b, uh, what did our prime turn out to be? So I gotta find it. Well, it doesn't matter, I can calculate it. So our prime is easy enough to find. What, what's our prime? That's the negative e to the negative t, right? I plus e to the 2t, or e to the t, rather, j, minus root 2k. Does everybody believe that? So what's the, ma that's of t, and then what's the magnitude? It's the magnitude of r prime of t. So that would be the square root Uh, well, yeah, uh, hmm. So if you take this guy, that would be e to the negative 2t, right? If you square it, plus e to the 2t, or yeah, e to the 2t, and then uh, plus 2. And by, you know, I, I, I could go ahead and show you that trick here that we were talking about. Um, so this is the trick that confused everybody in that video. If you rearrange this radican, you get e to the 2t. Now I'm gonna write, maybe this will help. Um, tell me if, the, if this helps, uh, Carlton, Carlton, right? Tell me if this, what? Yes. Yeah, tell me if this helps. I'm gonna rewrite e to the 2t as e to the t squared, because that's what it is, right? And then uh, I'll, I'll put um, plus two, I think I wanna do, and then plus e to the negative t squared on the end here. So I, I skipped this step in the video. And, and apparently you guys didn't like that. So here's the thing, and, and you may have never seen this before, this guy will factor. What will it factor to be? Well, let's think about it. Let's see if this works. How about the quantity e to the t plus e to the negative t, is this right? I have to check it, squared. I'm just guessing instead of thinking about it. Okay, D does that work? Well, okay, think about the formula a plus b quantity squared equals a squared plus two ab plus b squared. Well, if you, that means a is e to the t, right? b is e to the negative t. If you square this back out, you get e to the 2t, which is the same thing as e to the t squared, right? 
And then you multiply this guy times this guy, that's, that's the A times B, and then you double it, right? And so you multiply this guy times this guy, that's one, you double it, there's your plus two, it comes back. And then you uh, square this guy and you get E to the negative 2T or E to the negative T squared. So that works, doesn't it? And then why is that a cool trick? Because the radican goes away and you get E to the T plus E to the negative T. You guys don't look impressed. Try, try, plugging, try plugging this derivative in Wolfram Alpha or some program. There, it's not, that the computers can't do cool stuff like that. They will come up with something really ugly. All right, anyway, my point is we have this for magnitude R prime at T, right? From uh, the previous problem, uh, by the way, we could have got, th this is from the previous problem also. I didn't have to do all this work. It was already from 4B. And then we have this guy, right? So just plug into here to get K of T. So what does that turn out to be? I don't know. I need to do it over here so I can see what I'm doing. So K of T turns out to be this guy, square root e to the t over e to the 2t plus 1 divided by uh, magnitude r prime of t, this guy. Like that. So if I did that right, then we could, okay, think about this guy. You flip and multiply, right? You get square root e to the t over e to the 2t plus 1, and then you can multiply, and I'm sure this simplifies if you multiply it out, but you could, or you could factor out an e to the t and make it look prettier, uh, but I'll let you guys do that. So in other words, you flip and multiply by 1 over that guy, and you get e to the t plus e to the negative t in the denominator, and I'm sure I didn't write the answer like that, in the book, I probably simplified, but, but that should be equivalent to the answer I said back in the book. Back of the web page, I don't know. Um, that should be equivalent to the answer. So in other words, I didn't have to do all this work either. I, I, from 4B, I had this one. I had uh, this one. It's immediate. I, I could have got, you know, if I could have found it in my notes really quick, I could have gone right to here. And that's all the work I would have needed to show on that problem. But again, would you do it that way uh, if you hadn't already done 4B? No, you would have just used the cross product formula. That would be much, much easier. And there's a video on that if you want to see that.